Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to more Brotato Abyssal Terrors DLC. We are going to be going in, of course, on the new map, the Abyss, to check out the next character, the Druid. Enemies have a higher chance of dropping fruit. You have a 33% chance to gain a luck when you pick up a fruit. However, 33% of all fruit is poisoned and will hurt you, ignoring your dodge and armor. And if that's not enough, 100 HP regen down and 100% life steal down. Engineering modifications down by 50%. That one, I don't really care. I think that's a flavor thing more than anything, really. Uh, but, huh. If you, if you squint and look at this character, it really has only one thing going for it. And that is that you're going to be getting a lot of luck. So, that could be good enough, though. It's kind of like a positive feedback loop because more luck gives you more fruit and more fruit gives you more luck, gives you more fruit, gives you more luck, gives you more fruit, you know, so on and so forth. So that's really good. However, it all falls apart if that fruit is going to kill you. So I, I'm curious to see how the hell this character works in practice. Uh, the logical thing for weapons, it seems like pruner, right? Like get the garden, try and get some fruit, see what you can do with that. Get some luck early. The other thing I am curious about this run is loot. It is a new weapon. 50% melee, 10% luck scaling. Obviously, that's the reason why. However, the character doesn't start with any luck, and it has truly terrible damage. Like, I mean, okay, yeah, this fist has 8 damage, but it also attacks faster, has better scaling. But, like, Pruner does 10 damage. This does 4. It has 50% scale. Like, I mean... I kind of want to pivot into loot late game to take advantage of this if I can. If I get a lot of luck. Like, that's how I see it going in my head in practice. How will it go? I don't know. Enemies hit take 10% more damage for 3 seconds is also another effect on that. But for now, we'll get the pruner. We will try and see what we can do to get some... Uh... Okay. Hey, there we go. Good luck. We got a, a <laughs> luck upgrade on our very first one. Call it luck for a reason, I guess. Move down to the tree. Trees will be important as... Oh. Oh. So it's straight up... Okay. That changes... Okay, that does change a lot. It straight up tells you when it's a bad one. That's interesting. I'm actually just going to grab bag. Minnesota, Minnesota on that one. Uh, Interesting. Because what if we get a crate, you know? What if we get a crate? Bad luck. Oh my god. 33% you say. 33% you say. Ugh. I wonder what the... Uh, it said that enemies are more likely to drop these as well. Nice. I wonder what that means. It doesn't say what percentage that is. Trees die in one hit is so good. I'll take a 5% damage up. Get a little pruner. Does the damage we take? I don't I don't know. It it might I gotta get, probably get the powder hat. Okay, I mean there we go. we we got our six weapons. That's uh 25 harvesting just like that. That's really good shop luck, and we were able to facilitate and buy that because we took the risk on on the bag. Ow. Ow. So, like that's kind of exciting. I appreciate that for sure. So the 5% damage is boosting us up to 11 here, I guess. We don't really need to um, focus on picking up the green fruit. It will just get absorbed to us at the end of the wave. I'll take luck. Harvesting. Early harvesting is good. Like, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, luck makes harvesting better in a, in a way. Because harvesting helps you level up more, and luck really, really, really helps you on builds where you're leveling up a lot, because it makes your levels better. Because the thing is that's kind of weird about luck and the shop and getting more rare items. Rare items also cost more, you know? So, yeah, it's more value that's being potentially proposed to you in the shop. You still have to pay for it. You do not have to pay for a legendary stat upgrade from leveling up. That is just value, baby. Oh god, I really want to take this, but it's, this is obviously useless. OK, 
Okay, we'll take luck. I'll get a pruner. Corrupted shard, I'm not against. Pickup range, I think, is good. I'm scared of this. I'm scared that the bad food scales on that as well. It does. <laughs> it does. Okay. Um, th the truth is that still means... It, it should still be a, a net, big net gain, right? Like, because we are supposed to be getting twice as many good as we are bad. Will that happen in practice? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> it feels like it never actually goes that way. Law of large numbers of the course of the whole run. I'm sure it will. However, will it happen when it matters and when it counts? I don't know. Uh, yeah, we love metal for this. I'll take some melee damage. Speed is also a decent justification. 20% chance of finding an extra item in a crate. We love to see that. Alien eyes. Alien eyes, alien eyes, alien eyes. Uh, uh, I mean, it's not bad, but I just don't feel, I just don't feel like it. Is that a good enough reason? No? Whatever. Uh, metal detector early? It's, I don't know. Oh my God. That's, that's something. I feel like I need to get like an alt source of healing, like uh, cute monkey. I mean, I don't think I really want to go for um, hunting trophy. I don't think that's going to be the route for for this. My damage is falling off really bad. Which is not particularly surprising, but it is disappointing that I already feel like I'm going to need to dip into the... Uh, into the, the hole of just digging myself out. Got to be careful about just running through the middle there. Scar's good. Ooh, melee damage barely helps me. I'm gonna go for attack speed. I'm gonna take the harvest thing. I'm, I just want to. Scope. Scope is cursed. I'm, it's, it's 43 range. It's like actually maybe worth taking just because it's 43 range. I'm gonna say no though. Wisdom. I'm gonna take bag for sure. Wisdom maybe is worth it. Community support. Ah! Ah, it's probably worth it. It's probably worth it. It's a little bit spooky, though, because my uh, armor is in a little bit of pain, though. Like, armor is irrelevant in terms of uh, the fruit. So there's that. 11% attack speed up. Ooh. That hurts. That hurts, Mr. Walrus. Okay. Yeah, we got a lot of a lot of bad fruit up there. A lot of bad fruit up there. Thank you. Vibe, survive. Vibe and survive. Vibe and survive. Avoid all the bad fruit at this point. We don't need to take any unnecessary risks. I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a guaranteed epic. Um, I'm going to go for percentage damage. I feel like that's a good way to go about it. Structure attack speed is fantastic because that does impact the um, gardens. Range. Pay the range tax. Treasure map. I'm not taking glass can. We don't, I, I don't want to... I don't wanna. We need a uh, like a curse damage item to show up though. Curse damage, a uh, luck damage item to show up, please. Cool. All right, the feedback loop. It feels like it's starting. Uh oh. Feels like it's starting a little bit. Definitely noticing. Whoa, more fruit showing up. They could have done the meanest thing on Earth and made it so that the bad fruit absorbed to you as well. They could have just they could have just ruined your life, you know? We definitely want to like tunnel vision those trees. 
Because your first tree that you kill... I can't remember what it is. I think there's something mechanically that reinforces it. But like, ugh! The first tree you kill in the wave, it feels like it has such a high chance of giving you a loot crate. No. I'm I'm dying, man. I'm dying if I take that. Because I'm already feeling like I'm dying. Three armor sounds so nice. Whistle sounds nice. Shady potion's incredible. We don't care about the downside. Another bag is great. Lure is great. We love all that. Can we take mastery? I just don't want to. I'm not finding any of the loots, though. I'd, I'd, I'd happily start to pivot. If I had fish hook, I would lock that. If I didn't have fish hook, I should lock that still anyways, but I'm not gonna. My damage is very sick. Not in a fun Tony Hawk kind of way either. Okay. Please, thank you. Alright, but yeah, there's something... I can't remember what it is what it is but there is something behind this scene with with trees and whatever and it's like if you know that you're going to be getting guaranteed loot crates from loot goblins from um you know the item that does that then um it feels like maybe you're, you should wait to kill them until you kill a tree but yeah i'm not going to get the other one i don't think at this point okay yeah i'm, I'm not i can't would be nice, but I can't. Uh, that has no value. Adrenaline, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Sure. We could just be really intentional with it, you know? Give me more percentage damage. 30 luck. Pearl. 1% damage for every... That's that's it. Cute monkey, that's it, too. Uh, fairy, I don't think I'll be able to pay for it. Fairy, uh, is this fairy? Lucky charm. I was going to say fairy charm. Uh, we can get Hedgehog to sort of pay for the thing we just did to ourselves, I guess, for damage. I don't love it, but we have so much luck. We have no ways to turn it into damage. Uh, ow. All right, I'm trusting you, good food. I'm trusting you to save my life here. Okay, we got the crate. Good, good, good. I think that we might be at a point of the run where we're just going to be largely avoiding the bad fruit. Like, I'll take it if I'm really feeling feisty. But, like, I'm always feeling feisty. That's, that's my problem. That's my secret cap. Um, I mean, the thing is, we start getting these pearls, the game's over, really. Like, So just live, 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 live. That positive feedback loop is going to start to... Another one, because loot crates are based off of how much luck you have, how whether or not you're going to be getting them or not is based off how much luck you have. So obviously, if you get a lot of luck, you're going to get a lot of loot crates. Yada, 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 yada. I'm not going to kill this guy. It's not going to work. Okay. Uh... Is there a reason to get it? I don't think so. Lost duck, good. Propeller hat, good. Life still don't care. We did not get any... Um... What is, how does, how does this work? 5% chance of finding an extra pearl in a crate. We're going to get HP since we have like a way to things also scale with engineering. Rip and tear. Dude, if I can get lure to go, I'm, I'm going to do it. I can't find this loot. Does it exist? One could surmise. Uh, oh, God, a horde wave. Oh, God, a horde wave. I don't know, man. Okay, so we're going to need to, and I said this before, but I mean it now for sure. We really cannot be picking up the red fruit right now. I think it's going to just absolutely tank us. Like, we might be taking it. It might be good to, like, take it in the early stage, I guess to stop us from taking it on accident when we're running through the middle. Uh-oh. Uh, it's like, I don't know how much of that damage came from me accidentally taking, uh, taking red fruit, you know? Oh, boy. 
incoming disaster. 14 seconds. I'm not killing that loot goblin. I, I, that was, I was dreaming. I was absolutely dreaming. Okay. Ow. Tried to, tried to be a little bit bold with it. 25 for that. Finally! Oh, and a pearl. Oh, it's happening. And a fish hook. Oh, it's happening. We can get some percentage damage. I think we can go wild with coil. Yeah. Deja vu. Metal plates. I don't want glass cannon yet. I don't think I need bait right now. A garden is good. Structures can crit. Can I get critical fruit? I just, I know I can't. If this gets locked, I'll take it. I'm going to roll. If that gets, uh, or if it gets uh, cursed, I'll take it. No loots, though. Okay, okay, okay. Man, just getting a baby elephant, though. When we pick up materials, we can do 100. Like, that's just so much more damage than our weapons are doing. It's not even funny. I've been waiting so long to get just one thing that would do that. But 233 luck, man. Like, and we've had no way to do luck damage, and we can't find any loots. It's been, uh, it's been hell. It's been hell, man. Like, I feel like I can maybe be a little bit bold and take some, some red fruit on this now. Eh. I think it's maybe still, like... I think we maybe just don't yet. Because we're not... We're not there yet. Oh, come on, man. Just avoid him. Just avoid him. Just avoid him. Just avoid him. Alright. Max HP... Six max HP for 86 bucks. And a melee, rain, melee damage down. I'm actually just going to say no. Nothing got cursed. I'm going to be silly. Mm. Well, I don't want weird food right now. Metal detector, maybe. Baby elephant. Another baby elephant. Very, very nice. Range upgrade, we could. Finally! Oh, and there's... Oh, oh, this is our... This is our shop. Okay, how much damage does it do? It does 65. Dude! Give me more. We finally got one. Okay. The looting begins. The music. We got the beat drop just right at the right time there. Come on now. We pivot. We go loot. We, we get luck. We get luck. We get percentage damage. Oh, it's happening. Oh, it's happening. Oh, it's just, just like that. It's over. It's over before it began, man. Okay, I mean, it's been going for a while, and boy, it's been, it's been tough. <laughs> but hey, whatever. Okay, get the materials. So much bad fruit right here. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. It's happening. It's happening. Okay, if we can get any more pearls, like, it's, god, night and day. Take that. Don't take that pearl. Good. More pearls, the more likely we are to find uh, more pearls. We might as well take that, too. Just a little bit of range. I'm gonna be weird. Yeah, we take that. Get some attack speed. Nice. We want to increase our chance of finding loots, so that's why we are combining our loots. We could, um, get lucky and get a cursed one of those. Three HP recovered from consumables, but they heal you over four seconds instead of instantly. Is that good? Does it, does it work with the bad thing? I'm going to lock it, and I'll see what it does if it gets cursed. But I don't think I'm going to really particularly care about that. We will we will see. But yeah, more pearls, more success. The more pearls we find in loot crates, the better. 
it is funny that there's two characters just back to back that are like kind of luck based characters this is one of those things where the only thing i would change about um well i mean i don't know i'm not gonna say that about the character a thing i would a thing that i would change is i would literally just move the druid to the right a couple spaces because i feel like the game plan for the druid and the chef despite them being a completely different um vibe of character the game plan is weirdly similar so i would just like i would move the character i just literally move the character on the character select screen to the right because i think many people like to play characters from left to right you have a 50 percent chance to explode for big curse when you get hit 10 curse i mean sure metal good this is basically just 10 percent no locked down too max hp that's my range my range is in the positive lucky charm is great three armor sounds great pearl did not get upgraded uh jerky did not get upgraded oh baby oh baby oh baby how many pearls is that god why am i blind where is it there it is five. Oh my god one minute so we're getting 35 percent damage from every pearl and we also have a 25 percent chance of finding a bonus a free pearl in every crate um 12 hp for 266 bucks is all that is but i think that's worth it that's good uh treasure map good just try and i guess i don't care if i get that okay i'm feeling like way better about going into this uh this horde wave than the last like we are we are on some dumb stuff 319 damage from the freaking elephant it's pretty good we we do not have great um reliable well i don't know the enemies should be dropping lots of fruit because like more luck means more fruit drops from enemies as well and that's why like you know at this point of the run it feels like we should be able to certainly pivot into loot entirely and i think that that is true just because the fact that two times the amount of fruit should be good if everything works out how it's supposed to things should get dumb Boop. okay all right we love it 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 loot goblin i can't get him another pearl the more pearls the more pearls you know oh baby I don't want to eh. do I want that I kind of don't and I know it sounds bizarre because like you think oh my god but but the, but the, but the baby elephant I would rather get a couple like two lizards I want to be in more in control I feel like a lot of it gets wasted oh my god yeah a lot of it gets wasted. I just don't want that. Okay. Maybe it looks a little bit weird. I'd rather have, like, yeah, I'd rather have a huge pickup range. Oh, I was, I was almost going to go for penguin, but I realized, uh, yeah, no, that doesn't mean anything. Okay, I will obviously take a cursed pruner. Fruit every five seconds. We do want to kind of look for some uh, some attacks. Oh my god! Yeah, it's because I I know with the relic we could just stand and we could just absorb everything. Yada yada yada. It could be definitely could be good. But like if you have situations where you you grab your materials like all at the same time, there's sometimes a problem with that, and that is the fact that. Um, You'll clear the board, and then you'll be continuing to absorb materials. And those materials will be killing or damaging nobody. Whereas if you do it like this, you'll find that you have situations... See, like right there, I wanted to stop. Did you see that? Because there weren't any targets on the field for the damage. I would have wasted my materials, and I would have needed to kill somebody 
with my weapons, which in this situation isn't that big of a deal. That's why it's a thing that I, like, felt more in the past. Um, though, like, I would have to actually then kill someone with a weapon, God forbid. I don't think I want it. Attack speed is great. Love the garden. We love spicy sauce. We're picking up so many things. God. Don't want more. I think it's too late for metal detector. Okay. Love that. Uh, let's be weird with it. Let's be weird with it. We're going to sell something that looks really, really good. Oh. Yo. Okay. Another one of those two. Because I, I would rather have, like, look at this. 189, 325, and it's a common. Like, you know, we want to just pivot so we have more of these. Yeah, this, see, if we have to swap and start to kill something with a melee weapon, it doesn't really matter on on this run. But a reminder that there were there were no weapons that scaled on luck in base Brotato. So, like, this is kind of a new thing that we get to have. So, Relic probably went up in value in luck runs in my eyes, where, like, you're not going to have a bad time for taking it, but it's it's not pure upside. It's not pure upside. You will waste some of your materials for Baby Elephant. Okay. How often does that happen? Eh. More than you think on the when the runs get OP. Because I'm running out of targets and I don't have it. Like, and there's a couple situations where I'm running out of targets. Cut. Just doesn't matter anymore. I, I would have liked that earlier. It doesn't really matter now. Yeah, that's probably worth it. Pearl's obviously good. Treasure map, eye surgery. Uh, sure, another pearl's obviously good. More damage. More structure speed. HP region, we level up. Oh, it's my speed. We'll take this. Mirror, dupe your next item. I, I, I know that that one could have been duped, but like, what if we get something really cool? I know that that's not like really cool, but what is my uh, what's my discount at this point? Thirty percent discount. Your highest and lowest stats are swapped when you get this item. <laughs> no, but that is an interesting proposition. Um. <laughs> what the hell, man? Engineering's my lowest stat? Oh, lowest positive primary stats. That's... This is stupid. <laughs> I love that it exists. You can't... I can't lock it? Interesting. You can't lock it. I mean... Obviously, it's, it's stupid for right now. Okay. 700 damage with these loots. Yeah. Like, the fact that Pearl... Luck damage builds needed a little bit of consistency, in my opinion. Uh, Pearl... If you find one Pearl, you have that consistency. I feel like luck damage builds just absolutely exploded to the moon with this update. And the fact that you now have a weapon that scales on luck in the official game. I, I will say, like... I, lead with the fact that I've played with many in modded Brotato, and the results are usually the same. It's usually pretty darn busted, uh, as you can see here. That being said, I don't know if I've played a lot of mods that had an item that was more busted than Pearl. <laughs> like, just... It's so good, though, but I, like, I don't really... The thing is, I don't really want it nerfed, because... Luck build as an archetype is really hard to justify adding a bunch of items for. Like, you can add more luck, obviously. That's so good. That's an interesting idea, but I don't want it. Stop. Uh, I have 
now. Okay. Um, but it's kind of like, the thing is, it works really well because it's sort of like adding, I don't even care about that anymore. It's sort of like adding a lot of consistency to the luck build in a way that isn't just adding tons, like filling up the pool with enough items to fill up a whole another archetype because you're just getting them naturally in crates. It's interesting. I just don't think I need it. Do I get rid of this? Do I get rid of this? I don't think I need it anymore. As good as it is and like it's cool that it's cursed and all. I don't think I need it. Oh my god. Sure, I'll get another pearl. What do we have for pearls? I was also like, why am I able to buy so much in the shop? And then I remembered we like darn near cut item prices in half. That was a weird it was a weird thing to do, but I just saw ooh, cursed 10% discount. Like that's a 20% discount. Will it pay for itself? Probably. Does any of it matter? No, look at this. Nothing matters. We are we are eternal. We are forever. If I can think of it, what's our what's our pickup range? Oh, 110. If we get to 250, that unlocks the final character, which I'm, I don't want to do on... Like, I'm not going to... It's probably not going to happen. But, um... That unlocks the final character. It's I got, I'll just do it off camera. Just, I guess, just stack. I don't know. It's not interesting, really. Just I'll start a run on Danger Zero or something. Just grab a bunch of pickup range whenever I see it. All right. We have a thousand percent damage. Almost. Okay. We probably will at the end of this wave, right? Or when we get into the shop. Pearl. Oh, well, I mean, now, now we definitely do. Cool. Cool. Uh, mostly because that will. Cool. 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 No point. Cool. Cool. It just doesn't matter. Okay. Cute monkey, thank you. So what, did we get to 20 pearls? We have 17. <laughs> we have 17 items that are giving us 73% damage. Yeah, I think it might be pretty good. I don't know. Maybe. I'm gonna just gonna do this just so that our, our discount goes even higher. Cool. What does that what does that do for us? Enemy hit takes 17% damage, max 119. Whoa. Speed cap, sure. Oh, cool. It just prioritizes it. 200%. <laughs> we have to hit him 10 times with this weapon to, to get that value, but still, that is fun. Med I, I'm never going to get up to the point where that would matter. Cyberball. I'll take a schmoop. Man, how much did coupon save me? 896 bucks. You know, it's good, but I think I definitely should have saved it to double something else. Alright, let's fight the boss. I I figured as much. Okay, so let me check. What do we unlock? Because of the whole modded weirdness. What? Cauldron. Okay, so we've seen Cauldron a lot. Yes. Uh, that's a druid unlock. And see, I'm not going to hover over the other one. I guess we maybe we've seen it already, but uh, I'll, I will have already had the Druid unlock as well. Also, why is the Diver to the left and the Sailor over here? What's going on? But yeah, this is just because I, I don't, I don't want to go over it every time, but like uh, modded characters use character IDs and apparently there's a conflict with if you ever played a mod that had a character called Druid, which I have, uh, and it uses the exact same character ID, which it does, apparently, it messes things up and uh, 
it counts as the fact that I've already won with this character that just came out. So it's kind of a funny thing. And apparently the same thing will happen for the dwarf. But it is the cauldron that we unlocked. And then we'll figure out what we unlock with the dwarf as well. Uh, yeah, that went that went well. That went strong. Um, Pearl is really good. I think that uh, perhaps it's busted beyond belief. Um, and really, I, I don't know how much you even need to be doing a luck damage build for Pearl to be busted beyond belief. Um, dang, man. Uh, I like it. Alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check the channel for Roguelikes more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.